In our last video, we uh, we had an object which stopped on a platform. So we'll just test that there. You can see what happens. What I want to do now is get it to move. Uh, and when it moves off the edge, it falls down and stops on the next bit of the platform. Okay. So the way that we're going to do that is we've got the code in here for it to stop on the platform. And it's looking for hit test point, which if you remember... Uh, actually stops it on the filled bit of the platform. If I go to uh, one that I made earlier, the uh, better better movement uh, using uh, the frame, you can see there we've got all this code which actually just handles up, down, left and right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to utilise that. I'm going to copy all that using a control C control V and uh, I've took the comments out of this uh, out of this code and I'm just going to paste it in I'll, I'll juggle it around so we've got some variables there that are declared and they really need to be right at the top uh, it doesn't matter but it's just good practice um, we're not going to use up and down so I'm gonna get rid of those I'm gonna also get rid of up and down from the movement and I'm also going to get rid of up and down from the key presses. So what we've got now <coughs> is something that uh, declares two variables and it's got two enter frame event listeners, which is actually very bad programming. Uh, we really need to have these all in one. Plus as well, it's got these names which uh, are not really very descriptive. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the event listeners together. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to call uh, I'm going to call them names that actually mean something. So um, on every frame, I'm going to do something called a game loop. Uh, and <clears throat> what I'm going to do is in the game loop, I'm going to call these two functions. So. Uh, let's declare the game loop and in there I'm going to call this function and this function but I'm going to change the name of these functions now this function actually does the gravity bit so I'm going to call it gravity so I'm going to say gravity And I'm going to take that and change the bit that says FL event enter uh, frame handler 2 and just call that gravity. And the second one actually handles the um, movement of the player. So I'm going to call that move player. Copy that and put that in here. Now I've got a few, a uh, couple more tweaks uh, still to do. And we noticed before on the event listener, um, the the main function inside it had to have this event event in there. So I need to copy that and put that in the, the game loop, so that the main function with inside the event listener actually has the event event and also the void on the end of it. Now, others that are inside there then don't have to have that. So, gravity move player can actually just be straightforward functions. I've not got this, um, I don't need two event listeners. So, I've got the gravity function, I've got the move player function. I'm going to take this bit out of there. Uh, this just sort of shows you that having um, a few little banks of code uh, will come in handy. You copy and paste in. You've just got to be careful and actually know what you're doing within there. So we've got the event listener that runs the game loop. The game loop runs gravity and move player. So just check that uh, all my braces are all uh, okay all the way through. and test that. And we can see I've got movement and when I go off the end there it actually then falls onto the next platform 
Okay, so <clears throat> in the next video, the uh, the next thing that we need to do is add the ability to be able to jump.